In this online lecture, we're going to discuss an additional function of a diazonium salt. What we're going to see here is that the diazonium salt can also function as an electrophile in electrophilic aromatic substitution. And let me show you what I mean by that. Remember, we learned in a previous online lecture that in order to synthesize a diazonium salt, you need NH2 on a benzene ring and you need to add NaNO2 and HCl. And that creates this right here, the diazonium salt. And the previous functions we learned and the benefits of this reaction is remember all of these reactions are possible when you have a diazonium. We also learned in that previous online lecture how this helps us with strategy in synthesizing molecules. But in this online lecture, I want to show you another function of the diazonium. For instance, let's say you took this diazonium salt and reacted it with this molecule right here, a benzene ring with an alcohol. How would the diazonium behave in this situation? Well, let me give you a quick little review here. Let's go back. Remember, we learned before in electrophilic aromatic substitution, the big reaction with aromatic molecules here, the first step was we add an electrophile to a benzene ring. The electrons right here go out and grab this electrophile, and we end up with this intermediate right here, plus remember the other two resonance structures. We also learn that this reaction is finished off by adding a base, and what the base does, remember, is grab off this hydrogen right here, the electrons in the bond fall between these two carbons, recreating the double bond and recreating the aromatic ring, and in the process, adding the electrophile to the benzene ring. Remember, this is just simply electrophilic aromatic substitution. And the key thing here is remember, that means electrophiles can react with benzene rings. So, going back to our diazonium here, notice the N2 on the diazonium does have a positive charge, which means if we put this in a solution that allows the diazonium salt to break up, releasing the Cl- from it and just leaving behind the N2+, you are going to have a full-fledged electrophile, which means that electrophile can react with this benzene ring. But the question is, where would the diazonium add to the benzene ring? Well, notice in this particular case, you have an OH functional group here. Remember, he's a very strong ortho pair directing activator. So that means the electrophile here should add either ortho or para to the OH substituent. However, notice our diazonium electrophile here is very bulky. So we would expect to find more of the para product to relieve some of the steric strain of having the diazonium ortho to the OH group. So that means the product of our reaction is this right here. Notice the diazonium right here is right here, and it is para to the OH group. So all we're really knowing here is that diazoniums could act as simple electrophiles in electrophilic aromatic substitution. But just to get a better understanding of this reaction, I want to show you something specific about the mechanism here. Remember, the diazonium, the N2Cl part, we're going to put him in a solvent that will break apart the salt. And let's get a better look at the actual N2 group. Remember, the N's are triply bonded to each other, with the nitrogen on the benzene ring having a total of four bonds, therefore giving him a positive formal charge. But the thing that's slightly unique about this is that when the diazonium reacts with the benzene ring on the left, the electrons in the benzene ring go out here and attack this nitrogen instead of the N positive. But, however, after this particular attack, then the electrons in the pi bond between the nitrogen jump up onto this nitrogen right here. So you could almost think of it as the end nitrogen is more available for the other benzene ring to attack and the pi electrons jump up on the positive charge because simply the positive charge is attracting them. So that's what's driving this reaction. And after this mechanistic step here, you would end up with this type of connection right here. This just so happens to be the first intermediate in the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So of course you would get this plus 
the two other resonance structures. But however, to bring this reaction to product here, remember in the second step we add a base, and all he does is finds this hydrogen right here, rips off that hydrogen, electrons here fall down between these two carbons to regenerate the aromatic ring, giving us this overall as our product of this reaction. So keep this in mind on your next orgo exam. What typically happens is, is because the diazonium has all those other reaction functions, many students forget that it can also behave like an electrophile in what we learned here. All I'm asking you to do is don't forget that aspect of the diazonium. So what is our key point here? We just saw that the diazonium salt can also function as an electrophile in electrophilic aromatic substitution. And another thing I'd like to add here is that in order for him to add as an electrophile, you do need a strong ortho pair directing activator on the benzene ring. And that's simply because the diazonium salt is not electrophilic enough to react with just benzene. So the example I showed you, I used OH. Remember, he's a very strong ortho pair directing activator. So the OH would be necessary to be on the ring before we perform this reaction.